studios of ITN The News with Richard Swallow. Good morning, the headlines. Last full week of campaigning and Tory feuding goes on. Right-wingers celebrate Netanyahu's escape, but his future's still in doubt. And fires and floods continue to consume Colorado town. The election battleground is expected to shift to education today, with the Conservatives setting out plans for a grammar school in every town. But Labour and the Liberal Democrats are keen to keep the spotlight on public splits in the government over Europe. Labour has described the situation as open civil war. Here's our political correspondent, Hugh Penn. Firefighters in Essex will go on strike today in the first of two planned stoppages this week. Another is scheduled for Wednesday. Today's action follows their 24-hour strike, which ended yesterday morning. The firefighters are protesting against budget cuts. Essex County Council says that the next two stoppages must be the last, or the strikers will be suspended. Four men are expected to appear in court in Northern Ireland today, charged with terrorist offences. They were arrested on Saturday after police stopped and searched a car in East Belfast. A stun gun and other articles were seized in a separate operation. Meanwhile, Jerry Adams has told his party's annual conference that Sinn Féin was committed to peace, but he stressed that the IRA would remain a potent force. Our island correspondent, John Irvine, reports. Israel's Prime Minister, Benjamin Netanyahu, appears to have averted a political disaster over prosecutors deciding that they would not face charges over a corruption scandal. But they said that there are still real suspicions about his role. Mr Netanyahu says he made a mistake, but committed no crime. Opposition leaders and anti-government protesters are still demanding his resignation. Our senior foreign correspondent, Michael Nicholson, reports from Jerusalem. Amen. Now look at the headlines in this morning's newspapers. In the Times, its feuding ministers cloud the Tory fight back. But according to the Independent, it's not over yet. Finally, The Guardian reports that Winnie Mandela is selling her garden soil. The small bottles of soil from her garden, christened Hero's Acre, are on sale at £7 a time. A rocket will blast off from the Canary Islands this afternoon, carrying the remains of two dozen people who requested a truly celestial resting place. Among those who paid £3,000 each to have their ashes jettisoned into orbit, where Timothy Leary, the famous Harvard academic turned hippie promoter of LSD, and Gene Roddenberry, the creator of Star Trek. Their remains, contained in a tin, will circle the Earth for six years until burning up on re-entry to the Earth's atmosphere. It's now 17 minutes to six. You're watching the morning news from ITN. Coming up, one man's devotion to deep-sea exploration. Join us again after the break.